rolling. Hey guys, we headed out west for the first Black Cloud episode of the year. It's an awesome time of year right now. Weather's moving in and it's, it's just a fun time. But I want to bring you back to a show we filmed toward the end of January last year with Stephen McNally and W.E. Phillips. W.E.'s been around for a long time. He was part of the original Duckman with Phil Robertson back in the day. And man, does he have some stories and some awesome hunts. And just He's just fun to talk to. It's just a fun hunt. We had a great hunt, killed a few ducks, and got to hunt two different spots. He's actually got up in Arkansas, and it was just its just a lot of fun talking to an old-timer, a guy who, who's still at it, still loves it, and just to get to enjoy and hear the, the stories from back in the day compared to now, man, and it's just a, it was just an awesome time, and I hope you enjoy this one. Here we are, somewhere, here. somewhere in Arkansas, with the man, W.E. Phillips, Red Dog, original duck men. Hunted with W.E. probably seven years ago, videoing him, and it was so slow up in Jonesboro, Arkansas, he was cutting off his white goatee, beard, whatever you want to call it. I'm sitting in high cotton over here, John. I'm about had enough of this goatee. You cut your goatee off, I'm pulling your man card. That's just ludicrous. It's in my way. It ain't in your way. It's in my way. No. You're going to be my barber when we get back to the clubhouse. Just so happens I got something for whittling on you with. Don't mind that duck blood on there. <laughs> no, you need to wash that off. <laughs> you got to wash that off. No, man, it's man. fine. You're going to lose all your strength. It's like, where are we going? I'm saying like right here. You want it that tight? Is that, was that going to be too tight? That's tight now. Really? I mean, I'm just saying. All right, where you want to go? Wherever you, you want to go, but if you want it I that tight. I can't see what I'm doing here, so you just be the judge. All right, let's see. What about right, let go of it? I got it. About right there. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's see. Oh. It's coming. Oh, that duck blood's getting on you. Martin, you're getting it way close. You're about to hit me, Martin. No, I ain't about Martin. to hit you. Look at there. Let me see it. Now, hold good, on. Good. Where you get? Nah, we'll leave that. <laughs> I'll trim that up later. <laughs> the essence of W.E. has been in the, the moccasin hole. What's it called? <laughs> poor, poor boy hole. What's that, it called? But poor that's, boy hole. But that's essence. close. Hey, quit throwing that crap on me. <laughs> it looks like Forrest. Some over there. This looks like Forrest Gump. Here's the last bit of, the last bit of ev essence. I better catch it. <laughs> now I'm ready. Hopefully this morning isn't like that. He can keep his chin hair like it is, but we'll see. I'll go somewhere else right here. Look right here. Oh, yeah. We'll go somewhere else around. Look at that. Like a, like a Bengal tiger or a, no, you'd be like a Siberian tiger. Uh, it's a skunk. Oh, a skunk. <laughs> Just a. <laughs> It's late January. We're in a beautiful spot here. These birds are doing what they do best, and that's surviving. You call, they they get higher. Someone shoots two miles away, they get higher. They they bombing over there, like oh here they come, and here they go over there. But that's what they do. They survive. Late season birds, man. Still fun. Beautiful, beautiful. We've got two right here. Look at 
Look at that duck hanging in that tree right there. He's hanging in the tree? By the crotch. Yeah, y'all uh, the tree will come out. <laughs> Focus here. What we got here is we got a mallard duck and he's hung in a tree. And they say you have to make a reasonable effort to get him. So, what's your option? I got three shells in this Nelly right now, and we're gonna try to shoot him out. Time to shoot. And that's how you do that. You can tell these birds today, they just ain't want to be in here. It's late season, I get it, but they want to move. We got another bigger hole, got a bigger blind. Well, we're going to plan B. Plan A, in the timber, beautiful timber, kind of was sunny, it's clouding up now. So we're gonna go to some bigger water, but they just wouldn't do it. Late January, been shot at from Canada to Arkansas, and it ain't good, so we're gonna go try something different, because this is broke, so we're gonna go try something else. best thing I've ever done. I killed more out of three shots before, but this is the best. So we're in this place and it was willows and a low and the hole would, the more it rained the bigger it got. It was a little sheet water place. So after rain it was pretty good. I had some dudes from North Carolina, three of them. They, one of them had their son and I was guiding in and the guy tipped me that morning. You know, he said, get this out of the way. He just gave him a tip. Mm -hmm. There's six ducks flying around. And they're gadwalls. They got just like this. They're coming on the side. And I got the guy that I'm hunting with on the end where he's got the shot that I knew he would have. So he gets right there and he goes, collect. He ain't got no bullets in his gun. <laughs> oh, wow. I raise up, first shot killed three gadwalls, second shot killed two gadwalls, and then that last shot said about 70, folded him. Three shots, six gadwalls, and that's all there was, was six. And I just got my, I reached underneath, the, there was a little thing where my gun sleeve was. I picked up my gun sleeve and I just putting it in there. You know, no emotion, no nothing, because I got this guy beside me and he's just jaw dropped looking at me. He was like, I've never seen that before. And I'm like, okay. And, <laughs> He's and, 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 and he starts fumbling around in his pocket. And he comes out with a C note. And I tell him, hey, that dude, that other dude done tip me. He said, no, he said, I'm giving you this because I'm gonna tell my grandchildren what I just saw. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But luckiness, but you know. Hey, skill three, two. Three, two, one. Well, boys, we got it done. Slow but steady, right? Yeah, I do. 
had to kill the greenheads. Got to get the job done no matter what. But you know what? It ain't really about this, you know? It's a great friend and listening to some stories, and I got to listen to some good ones, huh, W? <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to talk about something way cool. You saw the boat right in, man. We're in this big, what would you call this, W? The what? North the North Line? The North Line. You got kind of a lake opening, whatever you want to call it. North Line, Middle Line, South Line. They get in here, they ain't coming out. We'll see what we can do. We got two people down there. If they don't come here, they come in there. So, but wind should be coming to us. We are gonna try to light them. We are gonna shoot them. And then they are gonna fly by them and they gonna Like so that. Far, so far, <laughs> to them, us zero. See what you made of. See what you made of, dude. She's going in the water, she's going to fly. Yep. He said shoot a flying. <laughs> I'm a Georgia, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's two. There's two. I'm going to tie it up with them. Yeah. If I want to get in the boat ready. Hey! We got one! He said, he called out, he said he didn't hit nothing. He said we only got one of them. I said, no, we got another blind down there. <laughs> <laughs> to figure this out, how it really works. <laughs> I've seen it, but I can't comprehend it. <laughs> See, you wouldn't even know those were coming if I didn't say cut them. That's right. Over that. Killing hole, period. <laughs> they get below them trees, they ain't leaving. He's over here yelling cut to another blind. <sighs> Name another spot you can do that at. Yeah, they're going down. Where? Right in the... I hurt your feelings. 
lids on it. What you got, bro? Huh? Oh, you about to get them up? Oh. Can you up. see their heads? Uh, yes, I Are can. Are they facing us? Uh, uh, no. I'm seeing that. They are now. That was Sorry. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a killing hole. <laughs> well, I love this spot. <laughs> what, what, what happened? What happened was <laughs> is they're down there, and you want them to come back here. So you shoot over their heads. But the first thing you got to do is you quack a couple times, and you get them to look at you, and then you shoot so they. They're, that they're scared, so they start flying to you. Well, then you stay down and you just be quiet, and they just fly right here. It happens about 70% of the time. That's what that's our ratio there. Si science. It may be the way this lake's <laughs> laid out, because there's tall trees on all sides of them, so they just get in there and fly through. I don't know, but... Like, just sure saw. enough, they got up and, like, they stayed all the way till they met their maker. Well, WE, man. Can't thank you enough. It could have been better, but you got to see a little bit of the power. So the power. That's the new word. So if you so if you have a chance, you're gonna come back. If if you call me, I'll be in the truck within 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> so no, nah, it's been fun, man. I learned a lot. Uh, got to see some spots I never thought I'd see. Like this place right here, man. Cool. It's beautiful. I got got to see a spot where a blind's been there for over a hundred years. Not very many people can say that. No. And then also. Whatever technique that was on the last two, I dig it. And this is a killing hole. Jo he said, he said it's a finishing hole. No, this is a killing hole. Killing hole. They get below them tree line, they in a world of hurt. You just come on home with daddy. Is what That's they right. Do. That's right. Well, I can't thank you enough. Seriously. Well, you're very welcome. It's been a joy hunting with you.